Hello everyone. I have been messing around with some serendipity books. And serendipity books, it's just randomly gluing bits of collage fodder, glue book fodder together in, in books, just randomly with no sense, no purpose. Um, it's my glue therapy. I have been just messing around a little bit with a few of these books. So I have quite a few uh, that I have put together. I am not working at all of them, but I wanted to show you that they can be different sizes um, and they can be made different ways. So this one is one that I have not really sewn together yet. It is just, it is a bunch of, I'm not even sure how many pieces of paper it is, a bunch of random scraps that I folded in half to put together. Um, to put in this cover. And I'll, I haven't decided if I am going to glue things to the pages first and then sew the book together. Um, I kind of put that one on hold. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that one yet. So I have put that to the side. Um, this is another one that I started about a month ago. And it is just random piece of file folder. And I did sew this one together with a three hole pamphlet stitch. And then I started gluing little bits to the pages and got busy with other things. And so I didn't go any further with this one. Of course, there's time. Um, my main purpose for the entire year. My This year is going to just be um, taking it easy, not being so hard on myself trying to get stuff done, just to be able to have a few books just to glue randomly and not worry about it turning out or anything. So that was one of those that I can grab and just glue stuff into um, without worrying about it. And so I have made a few other little books the same way. Um, it's relaxing for me to put these books together. I have a lot of scraps to use up. They turn out really interesting by themselves. Um, but it is just relaxing for me just to put them together. And then I decide later what I'm going to do. So that is one of the little ones. Here's some watercolor paper that I, you know, I don't even know what I was doing, but I found these pieces of watercolor paper and thought they'd be really cool covers. So I randomly put some bits inside to make a serendipity book, a small one. I find if I do smaller projects, it feels like I get things done. I get more satisfaction. Um, it doesn't take quite as long. Here's another one, another piece of watercolor paper that I just randomly found some papers. Some of them were coffee dyed. Some of them were painted. They're different sizes. Some of them are ripped and some of them are cut. And um, they're all kinds of different things. I just randomly put them in this book to do something with later. I get in the kick where I just want to make books. And so I just kind of go crazy making books. And here's another one. I did journaling by fives probably 2016. And I didn't like my pages, so I ripped them out of the book that I was using and have just kept them around, waiting for something to do with them. And so now I am cutting them in half and making covers to put pages into. So those will be fun. To do something with later as well. This one I made mm, quite a few months ago, probably six months ago. 
just a piece of, of cardboard and again just random scraps of interesting papers that I had that I just put together to make an interesting artist book I guess you would call it it's a junk journal really because it's just leftover here's bits of wax paper that I was using to separate pages leftover bits of whatever some small little bits that I didn't know what else to do with and so I put them all together in this book with no purpose it it's absolutely no reason or rhyme or anything I just like the way the pages looked wanted to make a book and so I made the book I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it but I really like it I may never do anything with it it may just stay this way and then you know one day I may look at this and say you know I want to glue a little bit of stuff in here and I may just go for it and here's another one I ripped apart a box got it wet just really messed around with this piece of cardboard and then again put a bunch of random weird pieces of things for pages inside and this is screaming at me that it needs some random things glued into it um, but I will be doing other things first another one you know I may never get to this one I may never do anything with it but I just I really like it I like the way the pages are all different sizes and different shapes and some of them are painted and there are different patterns on them and um, there are different kinds of paper and uh, it's just it's really random I, I get a kick out of that for some reason so this is one that I have been working on here lately um, and here's another one let me show you this one real fast um, this is another one that I'm thinking I will do a serendipity type of book with it and serendipity the definition of serendipity is the occurrence and development of events by chance in a happy or beneficial way basically a happy accident it's a happy accident it's something that just happens but you really are glad that it happened um, a happy accident so this one is a cover that I've had forever and I did grab some random pieces of paper some painted papers some just some bags and some just random stuff um, random pages and I'm thinking that I may do the serendipity thing where I just grab whatever catches my eye out of my box just grab a few things um, and then start gluing them down randomly without thinking without planning without um, without anything it may turn out it may not turn out uh, I don't care um, I like the randomness it's very relaxing not to plan and not to worry not to stress out about how things are turning out um, they may turn out to be absolutely nothing but garbage and they may be thrown away um, but that's not the purpose the purpose is the process um, it's just the glue therapy gluing pieces of paper down and not worrying and having some relaxing time with glue stick so that's what the whole serendipity book Thing is all about for me and um, 2024 has been a little stressful for me and so these have been really nice to come to and just to relax with and not to worry about so um, they're taking more time than I really expected which is fine um, 
this one I had glued a bunch of pages I think only 11 pieces of paper in there uh, and then started grabbing little bits of things to glue onto the pages and I didn't do each page individually I would grab something and glue it down and you know grab something else and find another page and glue it down that way I'm not planning on trying to make a really pretty collage I'm just grabbing stuff down and gluing it um, or grabbing it out of the box and gluing it down I like to get big neutral type things out first on the bottom and then I put fun little bits on top somewhere so um, I usually go through and glue larger bits down first and then go to a different page and then glue stuff down and then you know go to a different page and that way I'm not planning out and trying to make a pretty collage or whatever I'm just gluing things down and I like to glue down the bigger things first so that I don't cover up any little special fun doodads that I have so you know I never know when they're done I just keep adding stuff until I feel like I don't want anything add anything more to that page so um, very random little little book this is far from from finished I'm still working on it using painted papers and just anything in my box that happens to catch my eye at the moment I just grab it and find a place for it sometimes I find an empty page and say I need to find something for that and you know, I'll grab a little bit and find one of the pieces and, and glue it down I kind of change up my pro process from day to day it depends on what kind of mood I'm in I suppose if I just want to grab you know 10 pieces and find some place to glue those in any 10 pieces that happen to catch my eye there's a reason those pieces caught my eye they want to be used that day they want to be glued in and I try to keep my little bits small amounts for something like this because they may catch my eye one day but the next day then I may look at them and not know what in the world to do with them so I try to do just you know five six maybe ten pieces glue those in if I have more time grab a couple more glue those in until I've run out of time and then um, I stop so it's a serendipity book it's a happy accident it's not planned it's very random but it's interesting and it's cool and it's relaxing so um, this is the one that I had been working on last week or so last few days here's another one and this one so many up here now they're getting in each other's way it's been cold here so I haven't been doing a whole lot of, of anything um, I, I get cold and um, it's distracting for me so this one's a large one and what I had done with this one being it was so large I separated a bunch of larger interesting bits that I wanted and I really thought that I had grabbed a lot of things to glue into this book but <laughs> after randomly gluing those bits in I'm noticing I went through and noticed I actually placed that one so that she would show through um, and then I'll glue some other things around it but I noticed that there are so many pages with nothing glued to them I thought I had so many bits to glue in 
I thought that I was going to have a hard time finding space for everything. And it turns out I hardly had enough to do what I wanted to do. So I have to go and find some more larger bits for this book and come back and glue them in. Here's a piece of yellow pages. And Joss paper. And here's another junk journal type book. The pages are ripped from bags and pieces of paper and envelopes and you know whatever I had. So it is a junk journal. It will be a glue book. It doesn't have pockets. It's just pages for me to glue random bits in painted paper but I was these teeth are really disturbing me and I was trying to find something I think that'll be pretty cool to put over that so I don't have to look at the teeth anymore so I'll probably glue that in next time print out a piece of book text So you can see envelope here, the holes in the pages. I mean, we're talking junk. I ripped these poor bags apart so that they'd be really random looking and they ended up with holes, but I like that. So I probably will try to find something to peek through the hole. Not sure what. Some handmade paper. But I'm like going through this book thinking oh, I had so much stuff to glue in and it took me hours to glue these things in. Hours and hours. And after I got through with my pile, I'm like, well, I've got so many pages that don't even have anything. How is that possible? This will be a long-term project and I'm not really concerned about it getting things finished at this point. Um, I'm more concerned about relaxing and just having some fun and having projects that I can glue in and just have some fun with. You know, and I must have glued a quite a bit of stuff in here because when I started, it, there was a lot of space. And now I'm thinking that some of these pages that fold over, I may have to just um, rip those off and make them flat because it's getting to be pretty fat already and there's hardly anything in there. So um, it's a piece of scrapbook paper that I liked. So I may just have to tear off some of these pages, make room for all the stuff that I'm gluing into them. Another piece of painted paper. Here's another one. This was a piece of box. I liked the color. I like the pattern. Piece of painted paper. Music. So anyway, this is the big serendipity, Birds of Kentucky serendipity book that um, I've been messing around with. And the small, the smaller one, I would say probably the small one's probably half done. Um, probably because there's pl plenty of space to to add more things but it's getting there it is getting to be too full to add anything to so it's getting pretty fat which is fine and this one when I started it was it was pretty skinny 
and now it's almost like where it needs to be and I have so much more stuff to put into it um, I may have to uh, take it apart and take some of those pages out I will glue more stuff in and, and figure that out later I just wanted to show you some of my process some of the things that I'm working on and um, I like to look at old videos when I'm doing projects like this so I can see how the books started and how they progressed and what happened to them and um, what they look like when they started. So um, that is what that is. I do have a video, I haven't posted it, of this book, of just a flip through of this book before I even did anything to it. And I may do another flip through of it the way it is now, just for my records. But anyway, so I recommend the Serendipity book. You can try any size that you're comfortable with. I do like the small little ones because they go faster. Um, it, it it feels like you're finishing something that you're getting you get satisfaction out of um, seeing your progress I suppose um, and it's very relaxing so I really like this is a nice size it has um, 22 pages in it I guess 22 of these kind of pages 11 pieces of paper and the cover so um, I guess it would be 48 pages if you count the cover and you count each page. Anyway, yeah, something small, something like this may take a very, very long time. And this is kind of the boring part where you're just putting those large bits on the bottom. It can get a little tedious at this point. Um, if you can get past that, and where you get to add the fun little bits on top and, and, and find um, interesting things to glue in. It gets a little bit more fun <laughs> a little bit later on. This is the boring part, but it is relaxing still. So that's what I have been up to, Serendipity Books. Um, it's just the right speed for me right now. It's relaxing, um, and I may be working on these for the next few months just um, because that's about all I can handle right now. All right, so I hope that this inspires you to start your own serendipity book. Thanks for watching.